Hello, welcome to the first Late Gear Review where I review gear that I've had lying around for a while and it ain't new but you know you might not have it yourself so you might want to review on it. This is the MIDI Fighter 3D, I got it from djtechtools.com, I think they came out a good seven years ago so yeah you know I'm really up on the latest technology. I really love this thing, like I've done a lot of finger drumming recently, um, mainly with melodics and this is the tool that I like to use to practice that with. The too long didn't read version of it is it's overall really good. I would recommend it highly. The build quality is really solid. It's got super nice buttons, um, really satisfying to smash. As you can see, got color RGB and tilt functions. Like it's got a sort of gyroscope in there so you can do that kind of thing where it can, you know, I guess like for sort of modulating certain parameters, it's really good. Four banks of different buttons that you can assign, some more cheeky buttons on the side, and yeah, some software which you can kind of map the different colors, which is cool if you got a custom kind of layout and you want to sort of remember what everything is, that's really good. The cons, I suppose, could potentially the price, 219 US dollars still, um, which isn't that cheap really, but it's really good and solid and I think that professionals are gonna be happy to pay that because, well, it's, you'd rather have something that's not gonna break on you. Um, I think the, another big drawback is that it only ships from the US. That's a shame if you live in Europe, uh, you might have to pay customs and stuff like that. I honestly bought it a while ago now, so I can't remember. But yeah, that's my overall too long didn't read version. Um, I'm gonna go into some other things in more detail in a bit. The build quality, as I mentioned, is really good. Like it's got this kind of rubber coating on it and just makes it feel much more solid, a lot less plasticky than some other MIDI controllers. Even the feet are really well designed. They just feel like they're not gonna come off. The buttons are amazing. They are the same buttons that you get in like old arcade machines so everyone's played with them before and they're just super satisfying to smash and obviously aren't going to break because they're arcade buttons. Yeah I've thrown this thing in my bag before just sort of get the USB cable wrap it around it chuck it in the bag and it's been fine it's been all around the world with me actually. The, the USB cable is like a nice little right angled one so it's not going to be sticking out like that so you can kind of leave it plugged in and wrap it up. Probably not recommended but that's what I do and it's been fine. The RGB is got a lot of different colours actually. You've got blue, pink, green, yellow. That's like the default mapping and as I say you can change those to your liking in the utility thing, I'll show you that in a bit. Tilt controls work by, I guess they've got a gyroscope in it, so look, the more you tilt it, I don't know if you can see that, it lights up. So I think you've got four different axes there. One, two, three, four. And I think even if you hold that, you can tilt it on this axis and that works. I'm not actually played with that, I don't really use that myself, but Obviously, if you're using this for something like on Ableton, that could be really useful. So yeah, here's the MIDI fighter utility. And as you can see, you've got the different banks up here and there. If you see where it's like they're lining up and you can change the colors. So if, let's say like top those four green, send to MIDI fighter. Oh, now when I press it, look, it goes green. And that one's blue. Let's put them back to blue, and I think you can also change the outside bit. So if you go bop, 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 wait, oh, let's see what that does. All right, I think there, yeah, that's when I tilt it. Well, it's lighting up green. I don't know how this thing works. I don't know why I'm showing you it, but you can do it. Like, play around with it, it's fun. I think you can, it's pretty solid. Like, uh, do what you want. But yeah, so overall, MIDI Fighter 3D, if you're unsure of getting one, I would recommend it. I think it's really good. Controller buttons. I guess the one drawback is maybe, shut up, let's turn it down. That sound there, like, you know, sometimes I'd be playing it in my headphones, my wife hears me and she's kind of like, ooh, shut the fuck up, just because it's a bit noisy. But, oh, and, and the other thing is it's no touch control, obviously, like, my push has, what's it called, touch sensitivity. Obviously, you're not gonna get that on this, it's just on-off, but depending on what you're doing, it may 
or may not matter. It doesn't matter for me because I don't need that kind of tactile response for finger drumming. No one's going to look at this and think that it's going to have that. So yeah, bear that in mind. That's my review. If you, <laughs> I got this is terrible, but there's going to be more to come. Uh, hopefully, I'll get a bit better at doing this. Uh, so please like and subscribe. It'll help me a lot and give me the motivation to keep making stuff.